Hi everyone, I hope you've had an amazing week and staying safe with your families as well during lockdowns. Uh, what a week it's been in investing in transhumanism. Uh, today I'll be talking about Transhuman Coin, the project I mentioned a week ago, and it has increased in value and also the community support by over a thousand times during that time. So I'm um, just going to go through an overview of what to look out for uh, in this video. Um, what is Transhuman Coin? How does it help the transhuman movement? Um, how do we help it grow? Who is part of the team? Uh, how do you buy it? And also the upcoming milestones for Transhuman Coin. So, what is Transhuman Coin? It's a research and charitable token that's essentially dedicated to the transhuman movement. Now, this is something that we've been looking at over the last five years to try to find a way to incentivize, have skin in the game for the people that are part of the transhuman movement and also accelerate the adoption. And um, I think this is finally the way to do it. Uh, the way that tokenomics works in this token is that you can actually have uh, incentives for long-term holding of the token. So 2% of all the transactions are actually distributed back to the holders. So the more you hold, uh, the more you'll receive. Um, the way that the other 2% goes to the transaction is actually donated to a dedicated charity wallet in Transhuman Wallet. And you'll be able to use that on the Binance Smart Chain, uh, the Binance Charity Wallet to double check that that's been transferred in for all the transactions. The way that we're going to use this charity is actually donating to the causes of transhumanism, whether it's looking at research into longevity, research into enhancing our intelligence, and also research into our overall well-being as a society. Um, yeah, it's going to be amazing. So in terms of uh, the liquidity pool, so this is enabling people to transact in and out of Transhuman Coin, if you wish. 2% uh, of the transactions are sort of sent to the liquidity pool to make sure that that's always available for you as well. But really, it is a long term hold and it is a futuristic coin. Uh, the overall split from the initial uh, offering uh, that was done uh, about a week ago is that 40% went to public sale, 4.5% went to the team, 25% uh, is part of the liquidity lock, so that in a way it ensures that um, there will always be liquidity throughout the project, and 30% uh, is actually burnt, so that way it keeps that sort of momentum going. Um, in terms of where I think um, this transhuman coin could go, if you think about um, how it's supporting the community, um, not only is it bringing um, in incentives for people to look into these long-term research and development projects like um, ex extending a healthy human lifespan, but also it's allowing people to actually indicate that they are supporters of the movement. So whether it's individuals or as companies, the analogy would be, um, for example, companies that currently hold uh, Bitcoin. So this is an example on CoinGecko. You can see all the companies that hold Bitcoin and they really are supporters of the Bitcoin movement. Um, so companies like MicroStrategy and Tesla uh, and Square, they're all about how do we actually decentralize financial services. Well, transhuman coin is a way to say, well, are you a supporter of the transhuman movement? Because companies like uh, the CRISPR companies, Intelia, CRISPR and Editas, um, whether it's Pfizer and Moderna and BioNTech and Unity Biotechnologies, they could actually hold transhuman coin on their balance sheet as an indicator that are a supporter of this movement because individual holders and also corporates can actually support this. And eventually we can get governments all around the world to hold it in their reserves as well. So I think this is where the long-term value is. Uh, in terms of the value of transhumanism overall, I mean, think about what we can do to achieve super longevity and what that means for the economy as well. That's trillions of dollars in what we can do if people can continue to live healthier and longer lives without just you know, reaching the age of 80 or above and perishing uh, everything that built, they've built up to. Um, even billionaires, you know, no, no matter how rich they are, they can't take it to, uh, with them to the grave. And so, you know, with the, the amount of things that we can actually contribute to the economy by living longer and healthier, and also our overall well-being, we can also enhance our intelligence during that time. Um, so companies like Tesla and Google and, and Baidu and uh, Microsoft and OpenAI, they could hold transhuman coin to essentially be indicating that they're all about enhancing our intelligence uh, through 
whether it's brain computer interfaces, our handheld devices, and accessing super intelligence through the cloud, and also developing chips from the likes of uh, I IBM and NVIDIA and AMD and Qualcomm and TSMC. So I think um, with Transhuman Coin, this is something that companies can hold on their balance sheet. Um, they don't have to sell because it could essentially be used as a way to indicate their valuation. Um, Transhuman Coin, as long as it goes up, it can also be um, pegged to market value. And that way they can also then um, borrow against it or show to the share market that um, they are valuable on their balance sheet as an asset for Transhuman Coin. Just like uh, Bitcoin is uh, with the likes of what uh, Tesla is doing as well in MicroStrategy. So, how will Transhuman Coin grow uh, along those lines with what corporates can do um, and also what we can do as individuals? So I think um, as individuals, uh, we could actually set up our profiles to say, I am a holder of Transhuman Coin, I hold all Transhuman Coin, and I'm a supporter of the movement. And the more people we can get to do that, essentially that will grow the transhumanism movement and also get companies and other governments all around the world to not only get awareness of transhumanism as a movement, but hold on to transhuman coin as well. In terms of the team that's supporting transhumanism, uh, transhuman coin, uh, this team is uh, software developers in South Africa. Um, and also, I'm now part of the management team as well. Uh, you'll be able to see uh, uh, personalities like Charles <laughs> Awuzi, and uh, he's the CEO of uh, Gemspot Group in South Africa. Um, he's actually a biochemist as well, and he studied this at RBA State University. Um, he has 60,000 people following him on Facebook and is an avid supporter. You can see his posts on how we can use uh, transhuman coin to, tra to support human enhancement around, you know, making the people that are differently abled, super abled. So, you know, in this picture, you can see that we can actually help with prosthetics and help them live normal lives, but also looking at things like how do we actually use uh, CRISPR and other things to help genetic diseases for children and also using brain computer interfaces for people that initially might be differently able that have lockdown lock-in syndrome um, that have paralysis using brain computer interfaces to help them uh, become abled again and eventually this will enable us to be super abled so transhuman is all about enhancing uh, and uh, using science and technology to enhance um, our human condition, um, whether it's our limitations, but also to improve our well-being. So um, in terms of what we're going to do next, uh, I'll be meeting with the dev team and Charles later today. Uh, we're gonna be talking about how do we actually grow the movement and also what the upcoming milestones are. And this includes uh, once we reach a certain value, we'll be able to list on Coin Market Cap and uh, Coin Gecko, and that actually bring in more awareness, more community support. So right now, Transhuman Coin is uh, valued at about uh, 1.6 million dollars, and you know back a week ago, it was only valued at 2,000 dollars. So you can see there's been some volatility. You know, as people are essentially accumulating, they think, okay, there's going to be some people taking some profits, but for the long-term holders those transactions are going into their wallets as well. So 2% of all the transactions go to the holders. So the paper hands are losing out and the diamond hands are accumulating more transhuman coin. And this project is only just getting started. Um, it started a week ago and uh, we're the roadmap essentially currently to promote and uh, to do the marketing campaign, which hasn't officially started out yet. And that's what we'll be talking about later this week. Um, so yeah, once we have this sort of promotion campaign that will more, get more people on board and uh, yeah, I think the price of transhuman coins actually go just up and up and up um, and really just focusing on that long-term hold um, and how we can use that to support the transhuman movement. Because eventually we want companies and non-profit organizations, um, non-profits like uh, if you think about the guys over at uh, Sense Foundation, over at Methuselah Foundation, um, we've got uh, uh, Garvin Institute as well. And uh, there's also the Buck Institute that we can actually get involved with. So all these organizations, including um, Lifespan.io, we can get them to hold on to transhuman coin and uh, use that to indicate that they are essentially part of the transhuman movement, which they are already part of, and um, getting others to hold that as well. So with that, hopefully you uh, understand a little bit more, more, more about transhuman coin. Um, the way that you can buy it is actually through uh, um, 
on pancake swap so if you go into pancake swap you'll need to connect uh, one of your wallets so whether it's your trust wallet or metamask on the uh, binance smart chain um, essentially you can swap bnb for transhuman coin and um, you need to just add the transhuman coin token so uh, essentially go into tokens you need to copy the address of transhuman coin so if you go into the website for transhuman coin.finance you can copy the contact address and uh, you can paste in this right here so once you've copied that in you can see that this is the thc transhuman coin it's also got that virality to do with thc as well um but yeah that's i think that's what drove the uh, the green coloring on the website <laughs> and hopefully um we can also improve the wording of some of this but i think it's a, it's a great website and a great initiative overall so uh, in order to transact, obviously you'll uh, need to have some BNB initially. Um, you'll be able to go in uh, and um, connect to your wallet, transfer in BNB to be able to uh, swap it from BNB to THC. Um, and what you need to do, because it's quite early as a project, you need to increase your slippage to about 10%. So uh, you'll need to just go in and select uh, 10% as your slippage tolerance and that way you know because the impact on the price if you buy or sell this way you actually be able to uh, accumulate as much as you can based on the number that you've indicated of how much you want to buy and uh, and it's the same if you want to get out as well so that's why the liquidity pool is there you know the early profit taking that we've seen um, i think a lot of people are starting to regret now as the clients back up especially on the early days and you can see this dip going back up and this dip is going back up and uh, yeah well, it's actually going to be uh, more and more of those transactions leading into the wallets of the holders so, um, with that hopefully you found out more about transhuman coin and uh, if you have any questions see the links below there is a telegram group that you can join uh, there is a uh, transhuman.finance telegram group so called transhuman coin check that out the community is so supportive there's over 2600 members in there already and uh, you can see a lot of them are online that are helping people uh, navigate um, any complexities that they might have um, this is a great initiative for people to also understand cryptocurrencies as well so a lot of them are the first time trading cryptocurrencies um, and in Africa this is going to be a, a huge boom to the economy because um, these are people that previously may have been unbanked as well and uh, also people learning about cryptocurrencies and how do I get onto web3 um, so yeah great initiatives overall uh, have a great week have um, an awesome week and uh, I'll give you an update after our meeting with uh, Charles and the development team at TransHumanCoin <laughs>